this incident tonight started at about 5.41 p.m. Uh, there were reports of shooting uh, on the north side of the Garlic Festival uh, area. Uh, officers were in that area and engaged the suspect in less than a minute. Uh, the suspect was shot uh, and killed. Uh, it appears as if though they had come into the festival via the creek which borders a parking area uh, and they use some sort of a tool to cut through the fence to be able to gain access through the secure fence line uh, and that's how they got into the festival area itself. We have uh, one suspect we know that is down. Uh, we have some witnesses reporting that there may have been a second suspect, but we don't know if that suspect was engaged in any shooting or whether they may have been in some sort of a support role for the, the person that we have uh, accounted for. We have at least uh, 15 people injured. Uh, we have four fatalities that we know of, uh, including the suspect. The officers that engaged uh, the suspect, obviously we have a protocol that we need to deal with for that. So uh, Santa Clara County has a protocol on dealing with officer-involved shootings. So that's just another layer of uh, complexity with the, the shooting that we're investigating from the suspect. We put out a call for assistance. Uh, we had many, many officers in the park uh, at the time that this occurred as we do any day during a uh, festival, uh, which accounts for the very, very quick response time. When we put out the call for help, we've gotten help from agencies all across Santa Clara County and Monterey County. Uh, and I can't thank those agencies enough. Uh, they came from, you know, pretty good distances away to be here to help support and provide uh, assistance with our investigation in dealing with the chaos of the scene at the time that it occurred. We have set up some things, uh, you know, a reunification because, you know, in the panic, people go out different ways than they came in and families got separated. And so we have this uh, area, Gavilan College in Gilroy, set up as a reunification area to try to reunite families that got separated. We also have a phone number for families uh, to be able to call, and we have people staffing those phone numbers to work on the reunification process. The, that phone number is area code 408-846-0584. Uh, we also are asking for any witnesses uh, because there was quite a number of people in the park Anybody that witnessed this incident uh, that can tell us anything, that took any photographs, that perhaps videotaped anything that might be uh, relevant to this investigation, to please contact us. And we've set up a special phone number uh, for witnesses as well. And that phone number is 408-846-0584. And that's uh, about what I know at this point in time. Chief, at this point, you're not certain that there is a second suspect that witnesses may have identified a second one, but you're not entirely confident that's the case? We believe, based on witness statements, that there was a second individual involved in some way. We just don't know in what way. Do you have a description of this person? I do not at this point. Is there a motive? Do we, do we know anything about the suspect? I don't have any information on the suspect yet, uh, and that will take a little bit of time, uh, as with the victims as well. That will take some time before we identify them and, and make family notifications. What, what is being done to apprehend the second suspect if there is a second suspect? As I said, we've gotten assistance from literally dozens of law enforcement agencies across two counties, and so we have teams working uh, to try to track down and identify leads regarding the second suspect. Uh, we're very hopeful that with the witnesses and statements that people are able to give us, that that will help us to do that. Uh, do you have security camera at the festival? Security cameras? Yes, like 
No, not, not posted security cameras, no. The second person was not armed, is that correct? We do not know what the involvement is of the second person at this point in time. Can you clarify the amount of people injured and go into some of the injuries of the range? You know, I don't know what the injuries are. I haven't got a report on that. I do know that uh, the, the, the list that they're keeping, the master list, it was up to 15 people uh, the last time I looked at it, and that included the board. I have no idea what the motive is at this point. Can you come back so to the point that this report seen would suggest, made it suggest that there was a second shooter or someone working with the shooter? What did they report to you? You know, I'm sorry, I don't have specifics on that other than people reported a subject leaving the area that they thought was associated with this person. That's was it a Gilroy officer that took him out? It was Gilroy officers that engaged this suspect, yes. Chief, Chief, can you the age range of those who were injured? You know, I do not have the age range at this point. I'm sorry. I, we'll be able to get more of that when we do an update <clears throat> tomorrow. Can you say that any children were among the fatalities? I do not know. Chief, what, uh, what type of weapon was yeah. found? Can you tell us? Uh, he, was, he had some sort of a rifle, but I don't know what type of rifle it was. We talked to people who went to the festival that had questions about security. Do you know, did people have to pass through metal detectors, bag searches to get inside? Yes, they do have to go through metal detectors. They have wands that they use on people. They search bags. We have very tight security for getting people into the festival. Can you talk more about how the person got, got in? Fence, cutting through a fence, cutting through a fence, is that correct? The indications initially uh, given to me is that they use some sort of a tool to cut through a perimeter fence to gain access. We've heard reports that the uh, shooter was dressed as a police officer. Can you verify that at all? I have not heard that. It is a very, it is an active scene, and uh, because of the magnitude, it will continue to be active for some time. Uh, a witness said that the person that that was a shooter was dressed in camouflage uh, clothes. Can you confirm that? I do not know. We'll take one more question, folks. We're told, please, what interview they know the shooter was shooting at random. Do you know anything on that? Is he shooting at random? You know, I, I don't feel comfortable making an assumption, but it appears that way, at least initially, that it was somewhat random as he moved out into the festival area. Well, and I'll make that the last question. You know, the city of Gilroy is an incredible community, and we have incredible people here. And I'm really proud to have been the chief here and, and you know, lead this force because we have such a wonderful community and community support. And I think that this festival is a perfect example of that because it takes literally thousands of our residents that volunteer their time to come put this on for people and to raise funds for all of our community-based organizations and charities and whatnot. Uh, and you can't say that about a lot of communities. And I think that the number of people that are willing to give their time for the betterment of other people is a wonderful thing. Uh, and it's just uh, incredibly sad and disheartening uh, that an event that is does so much good for our community uh, has to suffer from a tragedy like this. Chief, would you say that a man is on the way for the second suspect? Is that a fair characterization? I would say that's a fair characterization.